Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today, after a long time, I'm going to record another video about Kaspersky Security Center. So the date today when I'm recording is 19th September 2023 and the latest release till today is 14.2 for Kaspersky Security Center. So before you install of course you need to make sure your system requirements are in place and to make sure your system requirements are in place of course you need to know what are the system requirements. To know about system requirements you can go to support.kaspersky.com and then this is the URL for this particular version. If you want to make it simple, you can go to support.kaspersky.com and from here you can go under business and you can see online help. And when you go online help, you have security center documentation available over here. And in that you can see hardware and software requirements are mentioned for Kaspersky Security Center. For administration server, it's here for web console requirements, mobile server requirements, uh, administration server console requirements, and network agent requirements are available over here. So if I go to administration server requirements, I'll be able to see the resources which are required, what kind of softwares I would need, what are supported applications, software applications, databases, uh, and so on. These are the requirements which are there for administration server. Similarly, if you go to web console requirements, of course it has its own requirement and for the other components as well. To download this application, of course, uh, you need to go to Kaspersky uh, support web portal again. And then over there, if you see, you have downloads under business solutions, if you go, you can see quite few products over here, right? You can download Endpoint Security for Business Advance. If you click on download over here, for example, you will be able to see over here Kaspersky Security Center for different versions, for different operating systems and different components of it. For me, what I have downloaded is this Kaspersky Security Center version 14.2.0.26967 Windows full distributive uh, you can only download console you can only download web console also but for me I have downloaded this already the size of the file is not very big they have excluded uh, the SQL installation from here so now if you see this is only 4.445 MB file of course to install it you will just right click and run as administrator this is an appropriate way to do it this is my uh, practice also whenever I'm trying to execute any application I'll try to run as administrator now over here if you see we have possibility to install only Kaspersky Security Center administration console only Security Center network agent I can extract the installation packages I can install iOS MDM mobile device management server or install exchange mobile device server as well but for me I am going to install Kaspersky security center 14.2 and I'll click on this of course it will start extracting the files in the temporary uh, folder and after that of course it will start the visit for the installation as I said MS SQL is not part of the solution anymore so you need to install MS SQL beforehand you can find the video tutorial link in my videos tutorial. This tutorial's uh, description will give you the link if you would like to see how to install SQL Server. Any edition you can install uh, which has supported version but I'll uh, add the link for the tutorial where you can find how to install SQL Server. For me I have already installed and you can see that I have my server installed and there are no databases currently available over here 
It's just a installation. Now over here, my Kaspersky Security Center Administration Server Welcome Wizard has come up. Welcome to Kaspersky Security Center 14.2 Administration Server Setup Wizard. Um, I'll just follow the wizard. I'll click on Next. It will check if .NET Framework is already installed, which is required. Otherwise, it will install .NET Framework, which is required. Then I'll click on Next. Now I have to accept the uh, license and privacy policy and I'll click on next if you want to of course read through it it's your choice you can do it which of course we hardly do it for any um, application which you are installing normally of course it's so big that normally people do not but of course uh, it's your right you can always go through the license agreement and policies so you will click on next now if you see it says type of installation on cluster select the type of installation on the cluster locally primary node of Kaspersky failover cluster or secondary node of Kaspersky failover cluster but in my case I, it's, it's one server uh, which is a primary server so I'm going to use locally over here and click on next now there are two ways if I say in standard it will um, do the standard installation which, will, uh, which allows you to install the default set of components and configure the database no changes will be made to any settings outside the described scope. But normally I prefer to go with custom so that I can define certain things uh, as per my requirements. So if I go to next, if you see, it will ask me what components I want to install. For now, I'm not going to install mobile device management. I'm only going to install Kaspersky administration server. And this is the place where I can choose if I want to change it from C to D or E other drives or any other folder uh, I can do it normally I don't prefer to change the uh, path of the installation I might change the drive if, if required but in my case I only have C drive because it's a test lab so I'm not changing this at all I'm going with the default value I'm clicking on next over here it says do you want to install only web console or you want to install the MMC based console for me I'm going to install both the console in one go I click on next now over here it is asking me select the appropriate number of devices that you intend to manage of course based on what you are selecting it might have uh, certain things which it will ask you to do see if you see if I select this one it says to ensure proper functioning of application on a network that in includes more than 5000 devices we do not recommend using mysql or sql server express we also recommend that you need you read through the following section of online help also but in my case of course it's a small environment i'm going to go with fewer than 100 network devices based on your environment you will select what what is supported so for me i am going with less than 100 and then i'm going with ms sql server or SQL Express Edition. I click on next. Now over here it is asking me to browse to my uh, database server. Now you can download Microsoft S Server 2019 Express Edition from here and other supported versions from here as well. For me I have already installed. I can browse or I can simply directly provide this name. So I don't need to browse in that case so this is up to you how you want to go about it for me I'm just going to enter my SQL server instance name over here click next now I want to use uh, Windows authentication mode or I want to use SQL server authentication mode that's my choice so I'm going to use SQL authentication mode and I have a user called DB admin uh, which has this admin credit uh, uh, rights and over here I'm going to provide the credentials for that particular user and click next it's now it says generate the account automatically those this is basically uh, account which will be used to run administration service I can create an active directory account uh, and use that or I can use the automated generated account over here to run the service so I'm going with the default option which is generate the account automatically and I'm going to click on next and then it says 
specify the account for cash per security security center services and the previous one was administration service okay so security center services which is ksm proxy and some other prop ser uh, services so i'm going to generate the account automatically as well now here i can define the shared folder name for kaspersky uh, installation directories where my install installers are located updates and everything are located or i can point to an existing shared folder as well so i'm going to go with default over here as well uh, these are the communication ports encryption key length and so on i'm going to click on next over here this is my app server address up to you if you want to change it to something else like you want to only use the name of the server i'm using fully qualified domain name and i'm going to click on next over here now click install to start the installation so of course yes it will take its time of course to install the components so of course thanks to editing i will just skip these parts uh, i'll trim them and then i will uh, resume the recording when all the components are about to get completed but we will stop at of course web center uh, secure uh, kaspersky security center web console because it will ask me for certain things over there so i'm going to sh pause this recording over here and resume it when we are near to the step of kaspersky security center web console so if you see over here kaspersky security center administration server was done um, other components are done now what it will do it will bring up the wizard for web console installation so now if you see kaspersky security center web console wizard has come it will ask me to select the language of course for me i'm not going to change the language let it be default as in english i'll click on okay it is asking welcome to the secure uh, it is of course giving me the wizard for the installation and the first screen is always welcome to kaspersky security center at the product name and i'm going to click on next over here license agreement i have to accept and confirm and click next now path where i want to install it of course i want to if i want to change i can simply change from here next now it is asking me to provide the address of the server where i should be connecting my web console specify the kaspersky security center web console connection settings so i can provide the ip address of my machine itself or i can just give 127.0.0.1 and i can simply test the connection and you can see that i have this port available otherwise i can just simply go to cmd and check my ip and i can just simply provide this over here as well available enable logging kaspersky security center web console activities if you want to do that of course do it and click next now specify the kaspersky security center web Uh, console account settings are node js account and update service account are required to start uh, for starting and updating kaspersky security center web console you can use the default account or specify custom ones so up to me if i want to specify custom ones i can do that from here or i can go with the default accounts and then over here it is asking me if i want to generate a certificate or i want to use an existing certificate which is already there so i'm going to use a, a certificate which is already there and i'm going to create it on my domain name just to make sure there is no mistake in that i'm going to just get the exact domain name and you can see it is over here okay and i can click on next now over here 
uh, specify the setting of trusted servers uh, I can add a list of trusted servers because in my case it's one so I'm going to click on that and next install identity and access manager so uh, identity and access manager provides a single sign-on service across web Kaspersky applications integrated with Kaspersky security center you can do that so I can just simply install this also click on next ready for Kaspersky security center web console installation and click on next over here and of course it will take its own time to install this right so if you see now my installation is completed for web console as well I can click start Kaspersky web console in your browser or I can just click finish over here so my installation is completed now I can run the web console or start MMC the way I want I can do that and click on finish you might have observed it has taken me around 22 to 25 minutes um, so of course I'll be skipping the unnecessary part uh, over here where I'm waiting for certain things to happen but video will be a little longer uh, so it will be around maybe 16 to 18 minutes video now the installation is completed I have possibility to exit, access it using my fully qualified domain name also yeah sorry I forgot the port my bad so I can make use of fully qualified domain name to open the console as well and I can click on browse continue uh, domain authentication let's say administrator things are okay I should be able to log into this um, just to show you it has created the database which we named over there while running the setup uh, this is my first time when I'm logging to the web browser over here and just to show you there are certain services which gets installed along with security center and you can come over here in services and you can find out all the required services which are there on my server now so this is how you do install Kaspersky security center uh, 14.2 um, I'll be taking um, you through other part of this uh, console in the next tutorial where I'll be maybe showing you how you can use web console to do certain things thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.